Hey guys, my name is Jess McDonnell. It is July the 3rd today and you are tuned in to GameSpot News. First up, Gears of War dev and industry veteran Cliff Blazinski has surprised absolutely nobody by coming out of retirement and getting set to announce his next project. Blazinski left Epic Games in late 2012 after spending 20 years with the company. He may have been off the map, but he's still been kicking around various industry events and making the odd outspoken tweet for everybody to morph into gaming news. Speaking of Twitter, that's exactly where he announced that he was coming out of retirement. And now he's posted a link to a countdown clock on there, and it's a good guess that when the clock wraps up at 9am PT on July 8, we'll be hearing about his new project. He said it's going to be a blast to finally tell the story of what brought me back. Next up is some sad news as the developer of Murdered Soul Suspect, Airtight Games, has gone under. The developer have tweeted out a thank you to those who contributed to their games and their fans, family, friends and colleagues. The closure has come less than a month after the release of Murdered Soul Suspect and was reported by GeekWire. The site snapped a photo of a sign saying that office equipment was being sold off with heavy discounts and that the studio was indeed shutting down. Airtight Games opened in 2004 and was best known as the former workplace of Kim Swift, who created the original Portal and helped them make games like Quantum Quantum Conundrum and the Ouya exclusive Soulfjord. We wish all the very best to everybody affected by the studio closure. Next up, holy esports drama was all pretty much anybody could talk about yesterday, so let's get you all covered off on exactly what happened. The Finnish qualifiers for an upcoming international esports federation tournament was barring women from participating in Hearthstone matches. Weirdly, not only were there gendered divisions, but the games being made available to men and women were very different. Men were slotted in for Dota 2, StarCraft 2, Hearthstone, and Ultra Street Fighter 4, while women were offered Tekken Tag tournament instead of Hearthstone and Street Fighter. In their defense, the Finnish organizers, a group called Assembly, said they had to make their qualifiers male only because the South Korean based tournament itself is male only. Which is fair. They also said they want to be seen as a legitimate sport and so dividing male and female competitions was done in accordance with international sports authorities as part of their efforts to promote esports as legitimate sports. Which makes less sense. As you can imagine, this did not sit well with an awful lot of people and and the IESF appeared to take a back seat for a bit and figure out how to claw their way out of the media hate cyclone. But now they've come to say that it is important for them to have a female division to encourage more women to get into esports, where they're quite underrepresented. In addition, they've completely reversed their former decisions and now the Hearthstone tournament is open to all players. The IESF now have two event categories, an open for all category for men and women, in addition to events that are reserved just for women. I think I can say that that one is wrapped up pretty nicely. Let me know down in that commenty section if you think the gender division in esports makes sense or if you think it's crazy. Those are all the things that I wanted to tell you about today, but be sure to join me same time tomorrow for some top five goodness. I'll catch you then.